Kyle Hunter. We're about to find out. UCLA, they've been good as of late, playing Colorado. When last we saw Colorado, huge moment for them against Arizona for their at-large case, and Arizona belted them last Saturday night. All right, now the Buffs come in as a short favorite to Pauley Pavilion, national TV tonight on ESPN in the Pac-12. Total 136. Kyle, I am back to you because you're going to make an official play on this game. Time to find out if that hat is giving something away here. I mean, this is a fate of Colorado on the road for me. That has to be the primary reason for taking UCLA. Tad Boyle on the road. Let's look at his ATS numbers on the road in conference play. 45 covers, 70 losses against the spread, 39.1% against the spread. So if you were just fading Colorado on the road, you'd be filthy rich at this point. Um, Time and time again, they've looked really good at home. I will say, TJ, the only negative I have on this play is I wish they had played a little bit better in the last game. The fact that they were kind of blown away last game at home, uh, maybe they would you know, be ready to go a little bit more in this game. But in the past, they haven't been ready to go in any of their road games. So uh, I'm not going to bet on it happening here. And what can you say about the UCLA turnaround? Remember that game against Utah? Um, I mean, I had Utah on the show in that game. And I remember checking the final score Utah and UCLA and being like, I mean, I can't cannot believe that happened. Right. Uh, I'm ultra, ultra impressed with the job that Cronin's done turning this team back around because, you know, it'd be really easy to shut it down after that kind of a loss. The fact that they aren't a great team, I don't think this is one of the better UCLA teams by any means, but they give great effort. They work really hard on defense. Um, I think that's going to be enough against Colorado on the road. You know, if they're playing in Boulder, this would be a different story. But away from Boulder, uh, Tad Boyle and company have been really rough. I have to take the point and a half here and take UCLA. And again, the Bruins have now won five games in a row in the conference after uh, taking that beating at Utah. In fact, after the loss, uh, 90 to 44, they lost in Salt Lake City. And I still remember they came out of a timeout huddle like midway through the second half, and Mick Cronin wasn't saying anything and was just staring at the floor when they came back on the floor down by 30. Like, what? What is up with this bunch not listening, not guarding, not doing what they have to do? They've obviously, Jeff Nadeau, gotten it back together, and they get a little bit of a bump here at home. They're a home dog. A quick thought on Colorado coming in to Los Angeles to play UCLA. The next three-game stretch for Colorado will define their season. And the next two games are important, not for the resume. It's that you can't lose them. Um, This is... You know, whether we, you know, UCLA has been better, but they're still not a great team, and neither is USC. But that game against Utah in a week or so is probably looked at as like a bracket buster game. Both teams on the bubble, both need it. But Colorado's uh, kind of pissed away every opportunity they've had to to get a big win. Um, they're disappointing. That's all they are. I don't want to bet them on the road. I have no interest in them. And against a resurgent group that seems to be buying in, I think UCLA is kind of looking at it saying, Kind of related to a horse race, um, you know, they've struggled over the first, let's say, to the final stretch, and then they're going to kind of kick it into gear when it matters most and hopefully come out and, and, and be in the running. And I think that's the goal. Get focused. We're, we're not going to win the regular season title, but we have a lot to play for here still. And they're playing well at the right time. So that's kind of a team I want to buy into, if you will. Um, but but again, I Colorado, just because they need to win, doesn't mean they're going to. So, yeah, I agree with Kyle a little bit here. It's hard to bet the buffs in this spot. They just continue to let you down. Again, for UCLA, they are at home. They don't have an at-large case right now at uh, 100 and what, like 107 in the net ranking for what it's worth. Uh, so they, they've got they they've got to hone in on win this game tonight, but they've got a couple of important games at Washington State will help them. They're in the top 50 of the net, and Arizona's in the top five of the net for the rematch at Poly Pavilion late in the year. UCLA can help themselves metrically by continuing to win. I don't know that they can get to an at-large case without the automatic bid in the Pac-12. Um, so we'll we'll wait and see if that is in fact the case. Uh, we saw that Kyle was having trouble there uh, with the stream. He's going to leave and try to come back. It is his official play, so he is officially playing UCLA plus the point and a half. Hey Jeff, just make a quick comment here. Is again this is a situation where you're trying to entice people to bet because if you put it at Colorado minus one and a half or minus two, most people leave it alone. Quick opinion on that? Yeah, I think it's a good uh, good uh, kind of point by you. I- 
yeah, I, I think the, you know they're looking to get Colorado money here. I think they're probably going to say, well, you know, UCLA's been bad, and Colorado has to win, so they'll win. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'd be on UCLA here too. I think that's a a smart assessment uh, by Kyle. I think that's probably what he's looking at too. Good stuff. Again, he's looking at UCLA. He's back with us as well. Magic the show. Nice job by Kevin and everybody behind the scenes making the technology work uh, here on this. So the official play is Kyle Hunter. He says Bruins take the points, essentially saying they're going to win. I just One more quick thought, and then we're going to get to the live Q&A. Did you contemplate just take the money line for the better value besides just the point and a half because it's only a bucket? Just quick thought on the philosophy. If you're going to give them a point and a half versus money line being just plus 100, I'm going to take the point and a half. Um, you know, I, that's that's just the way I would go on that. Um, you know, do I like the money line too? Yeah, I like the money line too. And and man, I'm glad I'm looking better. That was a that was a <laughs> great plug there for a minute. I'm watching myself. Usually, like, usually I'm the one that struggles with the looks here on the program. They don't have me here for the looks. I don't know what they have me here for. Maybe it's my charm. Anyway, UCLA tonight. That's the play for Kyle Hunter.